Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George out for the day on his sailing boat. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Pepper. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. <laughs> Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? Is it allowed at the sailing club? <laughs> Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit! Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh, dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> ah! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? <laughs> we don't need that bit. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's I... all right, then. Ah! <laughs> ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail. It's that monstrosity again. Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello. <laughs> <Whoopee>! <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me, me! I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever. Let's go and get some juice. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats can't Help. sail. Help! 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 We need to rescue them, Grampy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in! Here we go! Grandy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boys! We're towing the boats to shore! We're towing the boats to the car park, towing the boats to be parked! I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. <coughs> Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? About what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, old bean. You're very welcome, old bean. Three cheers for Grampy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> Pedro's cough. It is a school day. Pepper and her friends are having a music lesson. Ooh, Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <coughs> oh dear, Pedro has a cough. Not to worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. 
This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> What seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know, but it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper. I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <coughs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Ooh. Uh, oh. Oh. It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh. <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. The camper van. Peppa and George are very excited today. They are going on holiday. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. Beep, beep. Beep. What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. Ooh. This camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! And this button works the TV. <laughs> <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. 
Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah, so that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> we simply pour the oil into the engine and... Uh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. <laughs> it's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly. This looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Oh, oh, watch this. The camper van roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Holly's holiday. Granny and Grandpa Pig are going on holiday. They are bringing Polly Parrot to Peppa's house so Peppa and George can look after her. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. <coughs> Polly is very excited about her holiday with Pepper and George. <coughs> Hello, Polly. Ah! Hello, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. <coughs> What's in Polly's suitcase, Granny? <coughs> this is Polly's food. George, can you guess what Polly likes to eat best? Chocolate cake. <laughs> no, not chocolate cake. Polly likes bird seed. Ah, bird seed! <laughs> <laughs> Can I feed her, Granny Pig? Can I feed her? Yes. It's very important not to give Polly too much food. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Grandpa, can Polly come out of the cage? Yes, but you must keep all the doors and windows closed so Polly doesn't fly away. Yes, Grandpa Pig. Goodbye, Peppa. Goodbye, George. <coughs> Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Ah! Goodbye, Granny Pig! Goodbye, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> 
George has got Polly's bird seed. <laughs> George, that is too much bird seed. Polly will go very big and burst like a balloon. Pop! Ah! Burst like a balloon! Pop! <laughs> 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 What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, George has forgotten to close the door. <laughs> Ice cream! Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. <laughs> Polly will have flown away. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <laughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? Ah! It's Polly! Hooray! Ah! But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. Ah! Bird seed! <laughs> I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? Oh. Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? Ah! Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 Recycling. Mr. Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr. Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr. Bull, the bin man. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Mm. Hello, everyone. Must be off. Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Bye. <laughs> Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Peppa, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> 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 
Now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Hello, Miss Rabbit! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good! Carry on! What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow! Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh. Where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> George's friend. Peppa and her friends are at the playground. Peppa, Susie and Danny are on the road. <laughs> are you all ready? Ready! Then let's go! <laughs> George is a bit too little for the roundabout. He is playing on the swing. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George is a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sandpit. <laughs> <laughs> George and Richard love the sandpit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. 
We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sandcastle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sandcastle. <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. Oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sandcastle. Your brother broke my brother's sandcastle first. Now, now, you two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. That's right, we're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm, I've got an idea. George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <coughs> seesaw! George loves the seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <coughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Look! George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. <laughs> George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. <laughs> Daddy Pig wears glasses. He needs to wear glasses to see clearly. When Daddy Pig wears his glasses, everything looks fine. But when Daddy Pig takes his glasses off, he can't see things clearly. Everything looks a bit soft and fuzzy. So it is very important that Daddy Pig knows where his glasses are. <laughs> Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Pepper, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Pepper and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Pepper. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Pepper looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock anything over. <laughs> It's not funny. Pepper looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers, but the glasses are not there either. <coughs> <laughs> Let's look in the 
bathroom. <laughs> Pippa and George are looking in the bathroom. The glasses are not in the bath. Oh. The glasses are not in the toilet. Oh. It's too difficult. Peppa and George cannot find Daddy Pig's glasses anywhere. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Daddy's glasses. Oh dear. Now what can we do? I suppose I'll just have to learn to do without them. If I move slowly, I won't bump into things. There they are! Daddy's glasses! Daddy Pig, you were sitting on them all the time. Oh. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I wonder how. <laughs> 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 well, you may have been a bit silly, Daddy Pig, but at least you're not grumpy anymore. I was not grumpy. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>